Thank you, Mr. President. I rise today to speak in support of Senate Resolution 88, a resolution I introduced to support the religious liberty of all Michigan citizens. The Declaration of Independence affirms that people are endowed by their creator with certain unalliable rights that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It also asserts that governments derive their just powers from the consent of the governed. The First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution plainly states, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech. The protection was further extended to the actions of the states through the 14th Amendment. Furthermore, the Michigan Constitution clearly upholds that every person shall have the liberty to worship God according to the dictates of his own conscience and that the civil and political rights, privileges and capacities of no person shall be diminished on account of religious belief. It goes on to declare every person may freely speak, write, express, publish his views on all subjects and no law should enact to restrain or abridge the liberty of speech. Now, despite these clear prohibitions against government actions infringing upon freedom of expression and the free exercise of religion, people and faith, religious organizations have increasingly become targets of governmental actions by state and local officials seeking to limit religious expression, expression and exercise. In recent years, we have seen a growing number of policies that exclude religious families and organizations from foster care programs. We have seen mandates that effectively prohibit religious student athletes from participating in college sports. We have even seen executive orders issued to close the doors in houses of worship. All right here in the United States of America, the list goes on. This resolution stands against the growing and un-American trend. When we elected leaders or governing body seeks to suppress or public punish citizens' religious expression or conscience, they... Senators, we have a colleague speaking to the body. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. President. Senator Vanderwall. Thank you. When elected leaders or governing bodies seek to suppress or punish a citizen's religious expression or conscience, they betray the fundamental principle of freedom on which our country was founded. The protections guaranteed by the First Amendment make it clear that the test of functioning moral republic is not whether it protects the speech and the religious expression with which degrees, but whether it will protect the speech and religious expression with which it disagrees. Our continued and vigilant defense of the idea is critical guard against the decay of our great nation. It works to ensure that we do not become a government of tyranny or oppression, which sadly is still all too common around the world. I invite my friends in this chamber to join me in ex exercising our duty to uphold the Constitution of the United States and the great state of Michigan. Let us make it clear that the Michigan Senate supports religious liberties of Michigan citizens and condemns any form of government action that seeks to infringe upon these sacred freedoms. Thank you and God bless.